Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team, and I'm standing on the second floor of 38 Constance Street. We're in prime uh, Roncesvalles High Park. We're just west of Roncesvalles Avenue, right between Roncesvalles and uh, High Park, the actual park. And uh, it's a hop, skip, and a jump to that amazing transit hub at Dundas and Bloor, but we're in this beautiful, beautiful neighborhood with like tall trees and all that good stuff and lots of families and, and uh, you'll love this two and a half story semi. It's got uh, laneway access to potential parking. It's got two units currently right now and uh, easy com to convert back to a single family five bedroom home or hey, maybe you want to rent it out as two, second and third and maybe main and basement, who knows what you'd like. So uh, this home has been in the family for many, many decades and has been very well maintained and really well taken care of. Make sure you check out our other video. Uh, I did one of the uh, main floor and the outside and of course the basement. So I'm just gonna do the second and third floor here now. But you can see uh, lots of amazing original charm and character, even these uh, door frames and baseboards. It's got nice wood laminate floor. So this is the room they converted into uh, a kitchen, of course. Uh, and of course it could be a bedroom as well. Maybe you could even build another bathroom if you wanted two bathrooms up in this level. Uh, this overlooks the backyard. You've got lovely neighbors around here. Uh, one of the best things about this neighborhood is Howard School District is just one block over, so you don't get actually the traffic from the school, but you do get the benefit if you've got children to go to that great junior school. Uh, here we are in the bathroom. I actually love the color of the tiles. It's very cool. Uh, great ceiling height up here as well. Uh, and this home, as I say, has been really beautifully cherished and well-maintained and you could move right in or, uh, you know, renovate over time or what have you. It's got those thermopane windows. Again, it hasn't been what I call wrecked, which means the, uh, the trims and all that kind of stuff have been kept beautifully. I love these door handles and all that kind of stuff. There's lots of natural light for, from some big, uh, bigger windows. And, um, uh, you know, obviously this is a bedroom or it could be uh, as they use it as a dining room or uh, or it could be home office or what have you. So this is the front facing. It's got the nice bay window. Again, those nice mature trees out front. Uh, you got to check out the house. Uh, it's really worth seeing. And again, it's just in immaculate condition. It got a great home inspection review. Um, so if, you, if you've got a family and you want to live in the neighborhood for a long time, it's got that. So in this neighborhood, you know, we're half a block from uh, the shops and restaurants and stuff. Right in Ronsi's were, uh, you know, the Alimentaria is right outside the door and Tealish and the Chocolateria and Mabel's, some of the most popular fantail. Great all in this block. De Lamar, the fish store, a great vegetable stand. I mean, you can name it, the Review Cinema. It's a wonderful neighborhood to raise your children in and, and live and, and work. It's nice and close to downtown. So here we are on the third floor. Hardwood floors, good ceiling height. I love the old Newell posts. It's really neat. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, you've got the 504 streetcar right outside your door practically. So that gets you right downtown. So that goes along King Street. You know the new Renault along King, the way they've sped up the streetcar. So it's sort of nice. Again, well, here we are. So basically fifth bedroom up here. And again, good decent height. Hey, maybe you'd want to blow that out one day and put a big deck up there. Who knows? Uh, anyway, it's worth checking out this house. Again, you know, you, you can't beat the location. One of the best things actually about Constance Street is if you go to the other end towards uh, the park, High Park, you can actually cross at a light so it's safe for your children and uh, your dogs and you're right into the off-leash dog area and uh, there's the school, the ho or, sorry, the tennis courts. There's lots and lots and lots I can rave about this neighborhood and this home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Next one, I'll show you the next spot.